Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we have a segment of the popular restaurant Boston Has a Pizza, and we have Red and Ali live on the scene to tell us more about it. Welcome. This is Boston Has a Pizza. This restaurant mainly focuses on Italian food, such as pizza and calzones. However, that's not all they do. They have salads, they have subs. We have to be careful. Not everything is good for your body, and we're going to go to Ali and learn more about their options. Hi, we're here and we found their Meat Lovers pizzas topped with bacon, sausage, and meatballs and loaded with saturated fat, a lot of calories, and not a lot of protein. The Meat Lovers pie has 2,700 calories, 60 grams of fat, and 850 milligrams of sodium. But that's not all they have. They have also subs. Some other less healthy foods include their Italian sausage parm, sub with 580 calories, 16 grams of saturated fat, and 1,200 milligrams of sodium. And their pepperoni calzone is with 750 calories, 7 grams of saturated fat, and 1,500 milligrams of sodium. But before you decide not to eat at this establishment, we're here to give you some helpful info on how to order a healthy meal, or even tips on how to order food from all the food groups. Red. That's right. There's plenty of healthy options at Boston House of Pizza. You can get a fresh garden salad with only 120 calories, 4 set grams of saturated fat, and 160 milligrams of sodium. Well, what if I don't want just a salad? What if I really want a pizza? Well, no problem. Boston House of Pizza also offers grilled chicken wraps and grilled ve veggie sub uh, subs. Also, if you do order a pizza, try and avoid adding pepperoni, sausage, or bacon. And try instead adding several toppings of veggies such as broccoli, onions, or mushrooms. But the question is, how do you order a meal that includes all the food groups? That's a reduced fat piece of cake, Rhett. You have to keep vegetables in mind. It's easy to get dairy from the cheese on the pizza, and it's easy to get the grains from the pasta and the pizza as well. Protein is also easy to add if you add grilled chicken or any other protein of your choice to pasta or the pizza. But don't forget to get a side salad for vegetables as well. Interesting. Oh, so I just remembered the grilled chicken Caesar wrap, uh, which has feta cheese, tomatoes, lettuce on a whole wheat wrap is good, plus a side salad. You can also use an egg parm sandwich uh, with a side of salad with some grilled chicken strips and you're good to go. You are a cow rep. And if you're wondering how to balance a high saturated diet and high sodium diet here at this restaurant, here are a few tips. One, avoid adding sausage, pepperoni, or ground beef to any pizza. Two, and avoid adding extra cheese to pizza and instead customize your pizza to add light cheese. And three, if you're really in the mood for a saturated meal, instead of ordering chicken wings or fries, try a salad on the side instead. Is there a way to have fruit and vegetables at this restaurant? Absolutely! Not only can you easily add whatever vegetables you want to your pizza or calzones, but you can also get a variety of different salads on the side. There are garden Caesar and Greek salads available. Adding eggplant or broccoli to pasta sauce is another easy way to increase your vegetable intake. As for fruit, you could always get a Hawaiian pizza. How about adding fiber to my meal? How would I be able to do that at this establishment? <laughs> fiber or not, simply choose one of the whole wheat options instead of their white bread. You can also add vegetables to any pizza, uh, salad, or pasta of your choice. My dietitian told me that I'm not getting enough calcium in my diet, but I hate yogurt and milk. Ugh, is there anything I can eat at this restaurant? Fortunately for you, broccoli is a great non-dairy source of calcium. Getting a pizza or calzone with broccoli in it or adding broccoli on top of pasta is a great option for you. Aha! So there's lots of ways to get a well-balanced meal at your average pizza place. Boston House of Pizza may not be a place you want to eat daily, but they definitely have some healthy options so you don't have to go crazy with the unhealthy food when you go out. I'm Ali Capolis. I'm Brett Bowes. And, and this, this is BU Nutrition, Nutrition Live. Live. Um, and next on a lighter note, the bubonic plague has broken out we're all gonna die. Go. My dietitian told me I'm not getting enough calcium in my diet. I hate yogurt and milk. <laughs> I'm not getting enough calcium in my diet. I hate yogurt and milk. Ah! Is there anything I can Hello. Welcome. Oh, you can go. <laughs>